the short part in the parsha, parsha's vayira. The very beginning of the parsha begins. And anyone who thinks about the pasuk, I'm just saying a short part in the chumash to open up everyone's hearts for the incredible halacha that is that is to come. The Pasik says, why did they not listen to Moshe? So the question is obvious that those are two different things. No. Their Kaitzer Ruach came from their Avaida Kasha. A question that uh, all inquiring minds that listen to the Parsha being read wonder. So the morale comes along and the morale gives an absolutely incredible idea. The morale says, and I'll just redo his words, There's two reasons they couldn't listen to Moshe Rabbeinu. Just to, for a moment, to understand. Moshe Rabbeinu is coming, and he's telling Klal Yisrael, the day is finally here. Finally, we're being redeemed. Imagine if we could, which we cannot. One is sitting in the ghettos, sitting in the Holocaust, and after years and years and years, all of a sudden, in rolls in the Savior. Finally, it's all over. And Moshe Rabbeinu talks to B'nai Yisrael, but they can't listen. Why could they not listen? Says the morale, the first reason they couldn't listen is shortness of breath. They were worried. They were worried about the work they needed to do. And any time you're worried about something, very interesting. The worry is that which disallowed them to listen to Moshe Rabbeinu because they were so all consumed about the work they were doing. It says the Maral, there's another reason. The Avoid Kasha. What's the Avoid Kasha? Sheikh Halashim, they were weak. The Maral is explaining to us something absolutely incredible. There's always the psychological damage that is done when one is in a difficult situation. Then there's the physical damage from being actually working hard in that situation. Says the morale, there were two reasons why Klal Yisrael couldn't listen to Maisha. One, they were working hard, back-breaking labor, their bodies were destroyed. They were sitting there on the last life, their last breaths, and because of that, just, just nothing works. You can't see straight, you can't hear straight, you don't know what's going on. The greatest news could come to your front door and you just can't listen because all your mind is worrying about the next brick you're going to lay about the next thing you're going to have to build, etc. But says the Maral, the Kaitzer Ruach is something entirely different. The fact that they were worried about the Malacha that they were going to do, that Paroi created psychological damage. He dug deep into their minds and he reprogrammed them like the Cantonists did. He reprogrammed them into robots worrying only about one thing, about the work they had to do. That worry was that which disallowed them from hearing this greatest news. And from this, we can walk away with an incredible lesson from the words of the Maral. Hopefully, the Avoid Kasha of Mitzrayim doesn't exist. Hopefully, even if one has a difficult job, avoid the kasha to the point of backbreaking labor, to the point of literal physical exhaustion that they can't do anything, that's, that's not so common. But the kaitzer ruach of Mitzrayim certainly exists. The all-consuming altitude that one feels that the paroi, that the Mitzrayim, is completely sucking everything out of him. He can't think straight. How many people do you say that, I'm just so busy, I'm just, what are you so busy with? No, no, I have this work to do and I have that work to do and I have just so many things in my mind and so many things in my plate. I can't think straight. That's the Kaitzer Ruach of Mitzrayim. Maybe the job ended, but you're sitting there still checking the 4,000 emails or maybe after that ended, but you're worrying about this issue or that issue. The Mitzrayim is the Kaitzer Ruach, the society that sucks everything out of us. So of course, as we begin the Parashiyah, of course, we always get the special Hashbais of the Parashiyah, the Geula is beginning. So within the Geula, we have to make sure to tap into the Geula, not only of the Geula of the Avod Kasha, but the, the Geula of the Kaitzer Ruach, of learning how to turn off 
the technology, turn off the business, zone in on the piece of Gemara, on the shear, on the davening, on the chesed, on the family. And thereby create a situation that one is not being run by the kaitzer ruach around him. That one is not subjected to the Gemara Ksubis of Anacha, Sheveres, Chatsi, Gufa, Shaladim, every groan, every sigh, every physical and psycho- every psychological worry hurts our bodies, but rather allowing ourselves to live with a little bit more of Yishav Adas, Bisiyata, Dishmaya.